hey guys shri on this side so today i will cover the maven in 10 minutes but it's a very big topic i have already covered in depth at concept and coding spring boot playlist i will share the link in the description section so you can check it out so let's start so what is maven so maven is a tool which helps in build generation second thing is it helps in dependency resolution so in simple word if i can say maven helps you to easily manage your project okay so when you first download the maven project so let's say in the spring boot playlist if you are following uh, when i downloaded the uh, project the spring boot project using maven so this is the structure which maven follows so maven follows at the top level you have your app name so let's say uh, learning spring boot is the app name then you have pom.xml at one level down right and then you have at the source folder at the same level after that you have main java com right this is generally standard like you will always get main java com and then you your company company name right whatever the company name you want to give so that generally comes here and then again the app name so let's say learning spring boot and then application dot java so this is the waterfall which maven follows and similarly there is also a unit testing folder so it at the same level there is also a test folder inside that java com your company name app name similarly like this only application dot java it has application test dot java so now all the java files which you will create right you will create inside this app right and so you will create multiple classes here multiple folders here and similarly all the uts for those new classes will go into the appropriate folders within this one so this is the standard maven project structure but now here if you see the very very important part is this pom.xml right this pom.xml is what maven actually uses it to generate a build to resolve the dependency everything without this maven is nothing so what exactly this pom.xml contains so very simple pom structure i have written here it might be little uh, small but i will call it out so that it would be easy for you to uh, recognize what i what are written so it so if you see one well, it's an xml file so xml is start xml close then here if you see the project right there is something called project here we it generally we provide an schema like uh, what is schema version of xml you are using then we have something called group id artifact id and version this is actually nothing but the identity of your project right so now let's say the uh, group id you would say that com dot let's say concept encoding okay artifact id i will give say my app name learning spring boot and the version you can give is like uh, 001 0.0.1 .0 .0 so ultimately this is my unique identity of my project right so group id artifact id and version is clear then we have something called properties okay properties start properties close inside this whatever you put it's nothing but a key value pair so here if you see whatever this you write here will be considered as the key and this would be considered as a value so here i have put java dot version right so now this is my key and the value i put is 17 so this is the value now this key you can use it across your pom dot xml like this like a dollar and then uh, you can just put java dot version and this is close so now this placeholder will get replaced with this 17 so this is nothing but a key value whatever you write inside properties then we have something called repositories right so in the repositories you will see a url this url represent the remote repository path if you are working in a company you will see that this path belongs to your company uh, 
so here if i uh, show in there is something called local repository then you have remote repository remote repository and there is something called central repository now let's say if you are working in a particular company right so your local repository is means your system your local system right so you can start your server from your local computer itself so that generally when we say local repository means you are on a particular machine right if you are working in a company remote re repo repository would be of your uh, company maven right uh, company maven like uh, so you any any dependency you have to download you have to download from your company one now you will not go the central uh, maven central right which is uh, public so generally remote when we say remote repository it depends if uh, let's say that if you are making a personal project then for you remote is this one the one which uh, publicly maven provides if you are working in a company the remote would be your company one right so all the dependency would get downloaded from whatever the company allowed you to download it okay so here is the repositories where we define the url of the remote repository then ultimately we have the dependencies where we write or provide all the dependencies our project has so maybe you are dependent on a particular component uh, so you you will add the dependency here so now if this two are clear then let's see something called a life cycle of a maven so the first so there are different phases and remember this is all in sequence so first is validate phase then is compile phase then is test phase then is package phase then is verify phase then is install and then ultimately deploy so when i say that it is in sequence means let's say you are some simply running this package command maven package let's say so internally it will first run validate then compile then test and then it will ultimately run the package right so it's all in sequence even if you just do maven deploy ultimately it will run from the start itself so no matter what phase you are running all its previous phases will first get executed so the first phase is the validate phase where the mostly the code smells check happen like any import uh, you are following a, a standard coding or not spacing unused imports like all this so all the code smells checks happen here in the validate phase okay the next phase is the compile phase in the compile phase your code get converted to the byte code so dot class files will get appeared at this phase if you do simple maven compile so first it will do validate and then it will convert it to the byte code the third phase is your test phase in the test phase all your unit test cases will run which is inside this so all the unit test cases will run if any failure at the unit test cases your build or your it, there would be a failure then your fourth phase is your package so in the package your classes will now get converted into dot jar file it has all the details all the dependencies of your project everything now group here package packed inside this then after that verify but, uh, you can say that just a validation that this jar file which is uh, we it has been generated its integrity is maintained like yes it is uh, correct till now after that once it is validated like yes this jar, jar file is all good ultimately these are the two step install so install is this this dot jar file will get deployed to your local repository so i told you that local repository is what your local machine right so in your local machine there would be like a dot m2 folder which uh, inside this ultimately your path right which you have given let's say com so this com concept encoding learning spring boot whatever the version inside that version ultimately this jar file will get go there okay and 
another step is maven deploy this is the final step when you do dot jar file ultimately this will go into the remote repository right remote repository means from your local it will ultimately goes to the remote repository if you are working in a company it will goes to whatever the path is given here it will go here or if you have given a path to the central maven repository it will ultimately goes to the uh, central maven repository itself okay so this is the life cycle this is the pom.xml and this is generally the project structure of maven just to add that if you got little bit curious about the life cycle these are phases and inside phases they are goals right you can add more goals also which i have explained that in the spring boot playlist and uh, you can check it out and learn more about the maven but yeah this is the high level of maven and its important uh, parts right we can discuss further if you have any doubts bye